Today is 15th of August 2019 and this is a 11 years old male Yorkshire Terrier. Uh, not neutered. Not okay. neutered. Now, down the, the, the interesting history about this dog is this eye actually. What happened was for two years, right? Yes. What happened to the eyes? It was cloudy. Cloudy, yeah. And it was so cloudy that uh, the dog can't see, can see at the time. Could see but blur. Nah. blur. Uh, cloudy means the cornea is uh, sort of whitish, right? Yeah, we were afraid it was cataract. Mm -hmm. And the owner sell the nose like cataract? No, uh, then we went to see another vet that say it was lipids, oil lipids inside. In the cornea? Yeah, and it gave uh, yeah. a different treatment. Uh, so and Things didn't get better. Uh, so, so we came to see you. Mm -hmm. So the thing is, this dog has a habit of rubbing his eye on the pillow and, and the side, right, on the bed. Whatever. And you can see, even Shh. now, uh, you can see the sclera is still reddish. I think he managed to rub somewhere. He's still rubbing, right? I think so. So you, you can tell from the crew, you look at this side, uh, the eye white is white, I see. This side is white. Uh. Then you look at this side. It's still reddish, you see? A bit reddish on top. So he did try his best to rub again. Uh. Once they start rubbing, for two years they cannot stop 100% uh, so that's why they, the dog has a wet collar for how long? for two, two months right? two months or mm. two months. Mm. so at first there was an ulcer in the center part of the dog now now you can see that uh, the cornea is definitely more transparent no? cornea means the front side and I will do a eye ulcer test it's called fluorescent stain, eye stain. And this one will, will uh, stain the cornea green if there's an ulcer. Put there for, for a few seconds. Now, the, the, there's a telltale sign of a scar or some injury on the lower eyelid. No? Okay, it's alright. Mm. It's alright. It's alright. Uh, right. And you can see there's some whitish scar here. So what I suspect was this dog had a injury and it became infected. So he started to rub his eyes. Uh, yeah. And with, it was with very his paw, white. Yeah. And, with a white uh, and at that time, at that time they didn't know. They didn't know that they, the dog has to wear an e collar. So they... He they, was rubbing uh, his eyes a lot. Uh, they didn't know that the e collar, the lizard collar will stop the eye rubbing. But now, this orange dye is to test for ulcer. If there is an ulcer yeah, it's okay, no, it's in the okay. cornea, then the, the yeah. cornea will be green. Wait, let me just put some eye drops. Cornea is fine. Relax, it's okay. Mm. To remove the the, the dye. Yeah? Now if there's no more ulcer, what is it? If there's no more ulcer then the the corner should not be green. It should not be green. Now you can see there's no green. Not even a bit of green. No. 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 I, I will just clear the dye. Okay. Last time still red green. You know? Yeah, last time there was so some this green. This is this is a lot of improvement. Is it green? No, no green. No, no green. I can't see. But you see, the dye has been rubbing the. You see the, the top part is still red. Really I thought it's not. No? I thought it was hmm? white. Today is red. He he tried to rub himself on like other. Normal, yes, like yes. Normal. You know why? He's not stupid. He rub against hmm? other thing. Yeah. He still, adapted. Yeah, uh, adapt himself. You can rub. Yeah, he still thinks. Uh, he, he still, still itchy, rub. Yeah, itchy. Still somewhere rub somewhere hmm. when he can. So you can see the cornea, which is the front of the eye. Yeah? It's quite transparent and, and that uh, you can see the reflection of the of the person mm. on it. Uh. Okay. Okay, 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 Finishing, okay. finishing. Let me just shine the light on it. Relaxes, okay. 
Romeo, Romeo, good Come inside already, follow me. You don't just stay there, stay put. Romeo, good boy. Now you see the light shows that the central part of the cornea is actually very clear. The cloudiness has gone because the dog didn't rub on it. But at the side, there's still some light uh, pigmentation. Yeah. This should go off in six months' time. Yeah. Then you will have the same transparent cornea as this eye. You see that? Very clear. This is the normal eye. Yeah, but uh, he has to wear the illusory collar for another six months. Uh, at least. Just uh. like you said. Hmm? <laughs> then the, it could be the lipid, but it may not be the lipid. It will clear. Uh, uh. You're still using eye drops, right? Yeah. Okay. The cream, the cream, I think. Okay, come this way. Now let's see the back side. Now, the back side was a, a, an interesting finding. Of course, now there's no more uh, tumor. There was a tumor there. It was here. Right? It was. It was. Uh, oh, it's not. It's not on the anus. It's below. The below. anus, because you said if it's anus, then it was. It was bad. Yeah. It's here. You uh, see, you can see you, that if there's a bit of a scar. One point I mean, three cm, huh? Yeah, one point three cm. So I, I I cut it off. Yeah. Luckily, it's not below here. Below here is the common inner tumor. Huh. But here it's not. Uh, here it's more the skin tumor. Yeah, thank God. And the report came in very good. There is no cancer. See whether they can shine here. So report of the subcutaneous lump. It's a lump uh, at the ventral perineal area, which I showed just now. And the important thing is the diagnosis is a cyst, uh, follicular cyst. That means it's a cyst from the hair follicle area. Yeah, what the hair follicle? She always bite the backside, you know. Ah, that was itchy, uh. uh, That's why he's. Uh, she didn't rub against the floor, but mm. he bite. So it seems to be appears to be completely excised. That means I remove everything, uh, Otherwise. They will say that it's incompletely ex mm. excised. Huh? Mm. Maybe there's some cells that still there or some cyst, mm. cyst cell. So the important thing is it doesn't become cancerous there. Mm. They but they can cause a local fo focal foreign body reaction when they rupture. That's why the dog has been uh, has been uh, itchy by biting yeah. the anus. And it anus. also became enlarged, you know. Mm. I have to tell Dr. Singh. Thing, uh, it was a little bit enlarged, that's why when we sent him here. Last time? Uh, yeah, that's why we sent him here. It mm. did become bigger. This one become bigger. That's why he cut it out. Yeah. Yeah, but you talking about the, the backside. Yeah, because it, it became support. bigger, that's why he cut it out. It's lucky it was that growing. The owner yeah. agreed to, to do a histology. Some owners, they don't, they don't want to do it. So we are no wiser, but in this case, it's not cancerous. So now this is the entire meal. So come up again. So I was advising that if possible then to sterilize him because yes. sometimes they develop yeah. tumors here. Yes. Or in fact they seem to run one or two here but it's not obvious. One lump here, you know? Yeah, yeah. Then another lump Already. here. Uh, this is starting like that. Huh. So a small lump here, lump here. Yeah. So this is a circum inner tumor. On the top part, yeah. No, you see. Not so obvious. Yeah. You see. So I cannot see now. You, huh? But you just say enough already. I, I agree. You better so. do it soon. Uh. As soon as possible. Yeah. Yeah. The left one will be bigger. Yeah. Mm. You see, just be the. Yeah. It, normally, due to the hormones, uh, the, the yeah. testosterone. So once it removed, it should be better. Uh, it, it, it has no more hormones to feed it. Yeah. Better do. But I, I think. Yeah. Yet, I don't have. Yet. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. I think better do.